In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload your photos to nine sites, including your websites, with complete titles, descriptions, hashtags, and keywords, all in under three minutes. And it's the social media management workflow for photographers, and it's so much easier to do than it was for me to say that clickbait title. Let's jump in. Hi, my name is James Willer. I'm a co-founder for Lou and I'm also a travel and landscape photographer. In this video, I'm going to show you my workflow for uploading my photos to social media and stock sites. Now, before I get started, if this is your first time watching a video for me, go down and hit that subscribe button and the notifications so you can get notified of future videos. Now, before I start the three minute timer, I've already created my photo in Lightroom and I've downloaded as a JPEG to my computer. We'll start off at the Photolu login page. Let's start the timer now. So you can sign up for Photolu for free at photolu.com, but I'm going to log in with the user I already have set up. First, I choose the photo I want to upload to all the different sites. These are the sites I'm going to upload to. All the major social sites like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr, and the stock sites like Shutterstock, Alamy, and Adobe Stock and my photography website, souvenirpixels.com, which runs on SmugMug. I typically enter the photo title and description in Lightroom, then Photolu reads it from the metadata. So I can change it here, but this one looks good to me. So I'll just use this for SmugMug and Flickr, which both allow a title and description. The description I entered in Lightroom wasn't a good stop description, so I'm going to enter a more keyword rich description to be used on the stock sites here. Next, I need to add in my keywords. Now, I, I've already added some keywords to the entire shoot in Lightroom, but I want to add some more photo-specific keywords. So I'm choosing them from the suggested keywords. Typically, I like to have at least 30 keywords per image. That looks pretty good. Now, Facebook has only a post, not a title and description like Flickr, but I'll just put my title on a separate line from my description and post it to Facebook. Now for the tweet. I'm gonna take my photo description and add some additional hashtags to it before I tweet it. Next is Instagram. I'm gonna use the same title and description for Instagram. Then I have a group of hashtags that I've saved as favorites. I'm gonna add those first. Now I'm gonna go in and add some additional suggested hashtags at different levels of popularity. Now I can review what's going to be posted to each site before either posting it now or scheduling it for later. I'll just post it right now. Now, here's where the magic happens. Photoloo is taking that photo and uploading it to all the sites. Now, as the photos are uploaded, the spinning arrows will turn into checkboxes. The green checkboxes indicate that the photo has been posted, and I can click on the checkbox to see the post. And the sites with blue arrows require an additional post step. Most of the stock sites require you to go in and upload releases and set a category before submitting. Since this photo has no releases, this is pretty quick. Alamy is the only stock site that will auto submit for you, but if there are people in the photo, you will still need to go back into Alamy as well and upload the releases for the photo. Instagram has one more step. I already have a photo, the Photolu app installed on my phone, so I received a notification to finish the post with the app. I need to go through the standard Instagram pages, but when I get to the description section, I can just paste in the description of the hashtags. And that's it. Check the timer. I finished in under three minutes. Okay, so what'd you think? Is that easier or more complicated than your current online workflow? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I went through that pretty quickly because I wanted to show the entire workflow in three minutes, but I'm going to be posting other videos on how I set up that workflow and why I do the things that I do in my workflow. If you're interested in those, go down and subscribe, click the subscribe button below and click the bell button to be notified. Happy uploading.